Good day Philippines, this is Mike Padua once again, returning to our tropical weather analysis for this Friday to Monday, September 4 to 7, 2020. And this is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. Let's begin with our update with the latest GovSat beginning today, Friday, until tomorrow, Saturday. We have a very powerful typhoon and it became the first super typhoon of 2020 and uh, the typhoon named Haitian had entered the Philippine area of responsibility this morning and it's now named locally by Pagasa as Christine and this system will be just briefly within the Philippine area of responsibility by tomorrow afternoon it will eventually move out while moving towards the northern part of Ryukyu, just to the northeast of Okinawa uh, sometime on Sunday and is expected to make landfall over uh, South Korea on Monday okay now uh, the system is now packing sustained winds one minute average of 250 kph or 135 knots and it's moving northwest at a speed of 15 kilometers per hour so this system has no direct impact across the Philippine Islands except for the uh, northeastern portions of the Philippine Sea where some big waves will be expected some surges so it's slightly enhancing some local westerly winds across Batanes and Babuya and Cabo Islands. So expect some visit conditions there and some possible showers, cloudy skies over these areas. The rest of the Philippine Islands will be generally good with some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in some selected areas of the archipelago. So the temperature will be much hotter today. Uh, reaching highs of uh, 39 to 40 degrees especially the heat index reaching around 45 to 50 degrees centigrade so drink lots of water to beat this extreme heat and uh, outside the Philippine area of responsibility there's no other LPAs we have here a surface trough doing some thunderstorm activity near Palau and Yap and so far that's the uh, latest from our graph set and as we look at our fast animation you can see now the clear eye actually it's not uh, actually clear if you look if you zoom it later on we're gonna look into the eye of the system based on this satellite you can see the round eye uh, moving into the northeastern portion of the philippine sea inside the par and it's such a beauty to observe this system but it's dangerous if you are on the path of that typhoon by the way this is uh, comparable to Reming the super typhoon that devastated the Bicol region way back in November 30 2006 and as we look at our zoom in satellite animation there you go the uh, zoom in satellite animation of the powerful super typhoon and you can clearly see some cloudiness within or inside the eye as the afternoon progresses so there you go that's the uh, powerful eye wall near the eye the strong winds are located along here along the uh, eye wall so the system will uh, continue to move towards the northwest, towards the northern sections of Ryukyu for the next two days. And if we move this towards the Philippine Islands, you can clearly see here some afternoon localized thunderstorms developing as we speak across portions of Luzon, uh, also here across the Visayas, uh, northern Palawan, and portions of Mindanao uh, these thunderstorms will only last for about an hour maximum two hours so watch out for some lightning strikes heavy downpour and possible uh, a small hail that will be generated by this uh, localized thunderstorm yesterday here in Camarini Sur uh, in the municipality of Bombon there are some areas which experience some uh, small hail falling uh, falling from the skies so that's the effect of a very strong thunderstorm that formed over Camarini Sur and brought some localized flooding in some areas of the province and so far that's the zoom in satellite animation as we look at our uh, 
uh, tropical cyclone uh, Asian tracks. So these are all the Asian agencies monitoring the tropical cyclone. They all agree that the system will uh, pass uh, along the northern portion of Ryukyu, northern portions of Ryukyu, and uh, it will uh, make landfall over or very near Busan, South Korea, come Monday afternoon, September 7. Let's all pray that everybody will be prepared and fully safe when the system passes by on Monday. So there you go. That's the uh, track and for the uh, forecast models. We are having some large uncertainty on where the system will pass based on the computer models, but we are uh, focusing on the GFS model, that's the uh, uh, purple one, and the, uh, the maroon color is the ECMWF European model, making landfall very near Busan, South Korea. So that's the track of Super Typhoon Hashen. And uh, here's the uh, latest uh, rain, wind, and pressure forecast from ECMWF courtesy of winter.com until Monday. So tomorrow we expect some afternoon or evening showers and thunderstorms all across the Philippine Islands in selected areas, not all. Okay. And on Sunday, still some afternoon or evening rain, showers, and thunderstorms will be expected in most parts of the country. And on Monday, uh, still same situation since we are a tropical country so expect the usual afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms to occur especially most especially along the Cordillera Minget mountains and here in the uh, central portions of Mindanao so uh, that's the latest from our forecast for the next uh, three days until Monday and as we look at our global tropics hazards and benefits outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of the United States NOAA. So this is for, uh, for the next two weeks. On week one, valid September 2 to 8, some below average rainfall will be expected across Luzon and Mindoro area. While uh, here on the week two, valid September 9 to uh, September 15, some normal conditions will uh, again return towards the Philippines. Some wetter conditions or above average rainfall across the equatorial Asia. So expect some thunderstorms over these areas. But no tropical cyclone formation will be expected until the middle of September. So that's it. That's our latest for today, Friday until monday and we will be uh, returning again next week to give you more tropical weather analysis here in our, in our country from typhoon2000.com this has been mike padua reporting stay safe always happy weekend to all be hashtag weather wiser hashtag typhoon wiser and thank you for watching our weather channel